The Roy Rogers Show, starring Roy Rogers, King of the Cowboys, Trigger, his golden palomino, and Dale Evans, Queen of the West, with Pat Brady, his comical sidekick, and Roy's wonder dog, Bullet. Jim Barton's ranch. Until I get back. What were those men up to, Magnolia? You tell me, Mr. Rogers. It's like the devil himself had moved in on us. Why, last night... Magnolia, are you all right? Oh, boy, what is it? You better ask Magnolia. For some reason or other, she has her heart set on ventilating me. Now, Mr. Rogers, you know that ain't so. Mr. Lean, you go on back in the house and get some rest. She didn't sleep at all last night with all the goings on around here. Come on in and let me tell you all about it. Everything's going to be all right with Mr. Rogers here. He'll find out where Mr. Jim's done gone. Where Jim is going? That's why she ain't had no sleep on account of Mr. Jim. He disappeared. Jim wouldn't just run away. But not of his own accord. Not unless he was snatched away by somebody. He's too good a husband. He thinks too much of Miss Eileen. Well, suppose you tell me about it, Eileen. Well, sit down, Mr. Roy. I'll go get your tea, honey. Thanks, Magnolia. It was last night, right after supper. Magnolia and I were doing the dishes. We heard some horses come up. And, and somebody yelled for Mr. Jim. We heard him go out to see who it was. Roy, he didn't come back. We heard them horses go scally shooting out of here. But Mr. Jim didn't come back. Well, that doesn't sound like Jim. But maybe we're all taking this thing too serious. Oh, we aren't, Roy. Jim's been worried lately about finances. The ranch hasn't supported itself in the last year or two. And you think maybe the worry has caused him to get in with bad company? Oh, no. No, no, I've never thought that. Well, I rode over here today. I need a good man on the double R bar, and I thought maybe Jim would like the job. Oh, he would, Roy. He'd like any honest job. <coughs> Sounds like our gunslinging friend's coming around. Maybe you can answer some of our questions. Okay, Bullet. Hey, what are you trying to do? Why were you and your friends running off Jim Barton's horses? We were just having a little fun. Well, we've got different ideas about fun in Mineral City. This is outside the city limits, cowboy. Eileen, do you know this man? No, Roy, I don't. And if I never see him again, it'll be soon enough. What do you know about Jim Barton? I never heard of him. Eileen, can I borrow one of your horses? Oh, of course. I'll go saddle one up for you, Mr. Rogers, if I can catch me one. Thanks, Magnolia. I'll take this funny man back to town, see how many jokes he can tell the sheriff. Hello, Roy. You nearly missed me. I was about to take off for Carson County to pick up a prisoner. You've got one closer to home, Sheriff. Better lock this fellow up. What's he done? He and a couple of his buddies tried to run off Jim Barton's horses. He may know something about Jim's disappearance. 
Jim Barton's disappearance. Yeah, he left his ranch last night and hasn't been heard from since. I'm going to make some inquiries around town, see if anybody's seen him. Good, Roy. I'll take him in and make him talk, see if I can find out who he is. All right. If you need me later, I'll be at the Eureka. I won't take no for an answer, Dale. How about dining at my ranch tomorrow night? Well, thank you, Mr. Ridgway, but just like I've told you before, when I get through here at night, I'm just so tired, I don't feel like going visiting. You visit the Bartons, my neighbors, and you always seem to find time for Rogers. Want to take my money, Miss Evans? Yes, I do. That'll be 85 cents. Such good eats are cheap at twice the price. Well, thank you. Pat will be glad to hear that. Come in again. Sure will. <coughs> Want to take my money, Miss Evans? Why not? Your money's no worse nor any better than anyone else's, Mr. Ridgway. And it'll be one dollar even. Good day. Well, let me scare you away, Larry. What makes you think you could, Rogers? Hi, Dale. Hi, Roy. That Casanova bothering you again? You know, I don't know why I don't like that fellow. Nothing I can put my finger on. There's something about that sidewinder I'd like to put my fingers on, and that's his neck. Say, have you seen or heard of Jim Barton? No, he hasn't been around today. That's right, Roy. He's been dropping in here every day to ask if we've heard of a job for him. I know. I had a job for him. He turned it down? He hasn't been around to turn anything down. He disappeared last night. That's why I came here to see you. I thought maybe you'd seen him. No. Gee, I wish we could help, Roy. Maybe Pat and I should drive out and see what we can do to help Eileen. Roy, the prisoner's escaping! Coming. Get ready to give him a welcome. Get 
Get him back to the cabin. About Jim? Yes. Now, I don't want you to be alarmed. Jim's been hurt, but not badly. Oh, no. He's up at one of the mountain ranches. I'll take you there if you like. Oh, Larry, how can I ever thank you? Neighbors are supposed to help each other, Eileen. And I've tried to be neighborly. Even offered to take this worthless ranch off your hands. I'll be ready in a minute, Larry. Less than a minute. You just brought in a heap of happiness, Mr. Ridgway. We had no idea where Mr. Jim was. This is only the beginning of the happiness I'll bring, Magnolia. Only the beginning. I'm coming, Larry. It won't take long. I have the station wagon. I knew Nellie Bell would make it. The wonders never cease. Why, my little old sweetheart never left me down. <laughs> never let you down, huh? Listen, when you get that thing fixed up, come on inside. Maybe Eileen will give you a nice, cool glass of lemonade. Good night. What on earth, Magnolia? Bless your heart, Miss Dale. You sure is a sight for sore eyes. Listen, since when are you toting that gun? It's a long story, honey, but it looks like it's going to have a happy ending now. Come on inside. Well, good. You mean you've heard from Jim, Magnolia? Uh, we ain't heard from him, but we heard about him. And he's all right, almost all right. Miss Eileen just left with Mr. Larry to go to him. Oh. <laughs> don't shoot! Don't shoot! Mr. Pat! Man, oh, man! Don't you know better than to sneak upon a person that way? You most give me heart failure. I almost gave you heart failure. Look, point that artillery some other way, will you? <laughs> oh, junk, you know I can't shoot good. Look, up this close, you don't have to shoot good. We just had a mess of trouble around here, Mr. Pat. You have, huh? Well, <laughs> it's lucky I came in then, because, Magnolia, I'm bringing you a great opportunity. You is, huh? Watch him, Magnolia. I've been a-thinking how tied down you are here with all this cooking, the sewing, the scrubbing, and the milking. Magnolia, you deserve something better. And I suppose you're going to give it to me, huh? You should be driving a car, seeing the sights, enjoying the country. Sure would be nice. Careful, Magnolia. But take my advice and learn all there is to know about a car before you start so you can fix it in case anything goes wrong. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I think so much of you, Magnolia. You can learn on my car. I have a flat tire out there, and I'm gonna let you fix it. Sure is nice of you, Mr. Pat. Magnolia, you mean you're gonna fall for that? Uh, wait a minute. What you mean you're gonna let me fix your old flat tire? <laughs> That's all right. Uh, did Pansy just say no? Don't let that thing speak. I'll, I'll do it myself. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye. Get in, Magnolia. <laughs> Jerry. Oh, howdy, Dale. Mrs. Barton around? No, but we're expecting her back before long. Well, we won't wait. Just tell her we've located Jim. 
What are you going to do, Magnolia? Hunt mice? No, sir. But I was sure hunting for rats up to a while ago. Magnolia and Eileen both were pretty worried about Jim till they heard about him. Well, you heard about him. I mean, we had the trip way out here for nothing. Well, Larry Ridgway came out and told Eileen. He's taking her to the mountain ranch to get Jim. But Jim isn't at any ranch. He's in the hospital. Well, the sheriff Marengo County phoned us just before our prisoner escaped. Magnolia, didn't you tell me Mr. Ridgway, Mr. Larry took Miss Ellie to a mountain ranch? I know I ain't mistaken. <laughs> Larry Ridgeway, take Eileen. Hey, that sounds like bullets. Go on now, let me alone. I got enough troubles with Nellie Bell. Pat is Roy here. Boyd was with him. Well, he ain't with him now. It's getting so everybody's disappearing around here. This is a goof gulf. That's what it is. You know, he's acting like he wants us to follow him. Maybe Roy's in trouble. Well, he's the only one we've got to follow now. Well, let's go. Come on, Magnolia. You and I are going. You can say that again. I ain't got no inclination to stay in this place alone. Well, here we are. Sit down. Well, where's my husband? I'll answer all your questions soon enough. Well, where's Jim? He'll show up in good time. After you've signed this deed to your property. The deed to my property? So that's the reason you brought me here. You're responsible for Jim's disappearance. That's right. And now all I need is your signature right next to Jim's here. Harry, why are you doing this to us? What good is the property to you? It's worthless. Well, crops, perhaps. But I need it for other reasons. Hi, Buck. How are you getting along with a little lady, boy? I was just telling her how I've always tried to be a good neighbor. Now, why don't you be a good little girl and sign this deed? Then we won't have any more trouble. No. No, I'll never sign it. And you can't make me. That's what Jim said. He changed his mind. Didn't we, Buck? <laughs> we sure did. Tell her the truth, that nobody's going to stop us from getting the gold that's on her ranch. So that's the reason you want our ranch. Gold. Take your choice, Eileen. Either deed this property to me, or the same fatal accident will happen to you that happened to Jim. You've murdered him.
signal. Must be a posse coming to help Roger. Let's go. <laughs> Say, Roy. Now, who's got the edge on who? Drop that gun. Take care of the ones outside. to live, Roger, you'll drop that gun. That's enough, bullet. Drop that gun, Ridgeway. Dale! Roy's got him covered, Tom. I'll get him for you, Roy. Come on, Stan, we'll round him up. Eileen, are you all right? Yes, but I'm glad to see you. Roy! I was just telling Eileen the sheriff had a report about Jim being in a hospital. Well, how is he? He's going to be all right. You know, Ridgeway had a couple of his boys work Jim over, hoping he'd persuade him to sell out. They really wanted that gold, I guess. Gold? Ridgeway says there's gold on our ranch. So that explains Ridgeway's actions. Well, I wonder what happened to Pat and Magnolia. They were right behind us. We better find out. Bullet, bring Trigger here. Roy, if you could have seen Magnolia in the back seat of that Jeep, hanging on for dear life. <laughs> I just hope nothing's happened to them. Thanks, Bullet. Eileen, why don't you ride back in the station wagon? It'll be easier for you. All right, dear. All right, get going. There they are, Roy. Looks like Nella Bell got away from them. Yeah. Help! Help! Somebody save me! Yeah. 
Happy trails to you. Keep smiling until then. Happy trails.